9,979 words written in one day. I'm gonna get to write it soon. The momentum. Writing books is so fun. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 27 of NaNoWriMo. So when I started filming this morning, I had no idea what exactly was in store for me. It is now 7 p.m. and I have had quite the day. I also forgot to film an intro as I'm working through the footage. So I figured I should just let you know about as much as I did this morning, which is that I sat down at my computer and I realized that I only had four days worth of writing left to do and I was feeling a little panicked. I think that about sums it up. So let me take you back to 9 a.m. Look at the last time I updated my word count on NaNoWriMo. Oh my goodness. So I have my cappuccino and I'm ready to update everything. Yay! This looks so much better. <laughs> I think part of me had honestly been avoiding updating the graph because I knew I'd look at it and be disappointed. <laughs> Even though I'm really not that far behind, it really was that I was just holding on to the idea of the 75k. Let me do some quick math. Hold on. To get to 75,000, I would need 8,735 0.5 words a day. Yeah, that might not be doable. But thankfully, the NaNoWriMo website tells me how many words I need a day to reach the 50,000, and that's only 2,486. That is just a few words short of what my original daily goal was, and that's something that I know is achievable, especially because I'm only looking four days out, and I'm not traveling, and I'm not surrounded by family. Like, I definitely can do that. 8,000 a day would be... But, oh, part of me wants to try so bad. I should just write. I should just write and see how far I can get. That's what I should do. That's what today's gonna be, is just, just write. Just write. Just do it. Okay, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, I'm almost done. I finished chapter 16 and I've already written 1,694 words. And my 41,000th word is is. It is is. Is this a repeat too? Of it. Food is. Oh, okay. Is was a new one. That's nice, I guess. The more and more I look at it, there's something ooh, about being above the 40,000 word mark and aiming for 50,000 that I'm like, I just wanna keep writing. I'm finally getting so much closer to the finish line, I think, cause I hear 41,752 words and I'm like, you're almost there. You're almost there. And I think the other thing is because I have on the last day of NaNoWriMo before written, I don't know the most I've ever done, but it's been like over 9,000. Have I written more than that? I'm gonna have to go look at my old stats. Hold on, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at my old stats. So apparently it's not uncommon for me in the last couple days <laughs> to get like a crap ton of words. Let me show you. So this is 2011. You can see that I jumped from 42,000 something to 49,000. This was 2012. <laughs> this is the one I was remembering where in the last couple days I had a panic and I was like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So I went from 42,000 to 50,000 in the last day. And then this one I think was 2014. Totally not sure. I can't remember what happened here. <laughs> But look at that growth. Again, 42,000 to 50,000. <laughs> what? I don't know what it is about this 42,000 area where I'm like, you know what? I could just write to the end. I could just get the 50,000 now. <laughs> Maybe I'll use past me as inspiration this time and just go for it today. Is that crazy? I feel like that's crazy. Is that crazy? Only one way to find out, okay. <laughs> I guess we're trying it. Really talk myself into this one. <laughs> Before I get too far though, let's go ahead and update. 41,752. Update. Look at that. I jumped from being done on December 4th to December 3rd. I should say, I think I'm also on a roll because I'm at a part of the story that is just so fun to me to write. Like this entire novel has been fun to write, but this section of it, especially so. This is the first time she's being interviewed about her experience. And I think it's kind of, if I had to like draw it out, this is one that we're building up to a tipping point for her and ugh, the problem she's been having with Augustine kind of come to a head like in the moments during the interview because he never reached out to her and he's the only one who knew really what she was experiencing and all this stuff and there's just so much tension and it's like I just want to keep going until that release of the tension so that I could be like ha and then of course build the tension back up again. Ooh, <laughs> Writing books is so fun. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, she is really laying into Augustine. I love it. Also, I finished chapter 17 and I got two more words for my sentence, more and I. So I has officially been used three times in this sentence now, which it does make a lot of sense because I'm writing it from first person point of view, but also like, Womp womp. I'm currently at 43,099 words. And even though I've already written 3,000 words in my head, I'm like, I only have 7,000 more to go until I win. I can do that. But I am <laughs> gonna go ahead and get some more coffee because obviously I don't have any left. So let's do it. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited. I think this might actually happen. What is happening to me? <laughs> I'm like really, really excited. I keep trying to like calm myself down and be like, no, like, don't worry about it. You'll get there when you get there. And if it's today, it's today. But another very strong part of me is like, you're getting there. Gosh, dang it, it's happening. And that part is the one that's winning. So let's go get some coffee. I also got myself some chocolate milk and I made a little bit of breakfast. I am realizing that if I piece together all of the parts of my videos that included making of a drink, be it a cappuccino, a coffee or a tea, I could probably make the longest video <laughs> that I've made this November. Oh man. Okay, time to get back to writing and time to eat. I'm so hungry. Okay. <laughs> So something I'm so excited for is that I'm at the part now where the point in their relationship that was the tipping point has been reached. And I should say friendship, their weird kind of understanding of each other. But so much of that friendship has been tested. The things that Jenny thought she knew about Augustine aren't what he's showing. And he's in a really harsh predicament because everything that he wanted to do, he's not able to do. It's a very, you know, general prince problems. <laughs> <laughs> relatable, right? But we've gone past the tipping point, the part that could have been the breaking point had I decided to go that route. But instead, they've reached the point of the pressure, the culmination of all of this stuff that's been going on for the past however long, 20,000 words, I guess, since Jenny saved them. And so now we're about to ease into this kind of quiet acceptance, moving back into that friendship. And I'm so excited to write it because I really loved writing them when they were captured, the friendship that they grew into, which of course you have to test it. That's part of the novel. That's part of the fun. That's part of the Mm, but like, I'm excited to write it where they're friends again. <laughs> and I've really loved playing around with the idea about how the media has kind of manipulated some of those aspects of the friendship. And I'm even more excited because I have something that I know is coming up in this story. And I'm just like, Ooh, I'm gonna get to write it soon. I think that's the best part of NaNoWriMo. And the best part of writing is that Ultimately, I just love doing it and I love my story. Even when I was struggling like, the past week when I'd been struggling about writing the words, it was never because I didn't like my story. <sighs> but now I am writing, so it's great, okay. <laughs> this is the other great thing about making my bed is that I can just use it as a place that I can write on. <sighs> and it's so comfy. If I was any more tired than I am right now, this would not work. <laughs> I've now written 3,500 words for the day and I'm almost at 44,000. While I'm taking this quick break though, I did realize that I haven't X'd out of these two days. So I'm gonna do that. And no more the 25th and no longer the 26th. <laughs> no. Are you the cutest puppy ever? Yes. Get more coffee. Always dessert. So I've written 5,072 words for the day, and that also puts me at 45,130 words, which means I basically just need to do what I've already done again in order to win. <laughs> and you know what? I still think it's possible to get that done today. I'm on a roll. No stopping now. I am at 46,315 words, and mama, what we about to do? Riverdale! Yay! 
Okay. Oh, I'm so close. I think I'm actually gonna hit the 50,000. But I need this break, so Riverdale it is. The dogs in the way. I honestly don't even remember last episode. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. I finally updated my word count. And look, this is the first time I've been on track in a while. <laughs> Still going for that 50,000 though. I have taken a longer break, so it's 5 p.m. now. And I think this is still doable. Oh my gosh, under 4,000 words. <gasps> I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I am having coffee way too late in the day, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep making it worse because why not? Okay, let's get writing. <laughs> Didn't. My first contraction. So that's like vaguely interesting, I guess. So close, so close, so close, so close, so close. We're past the media circuit that she was willingly going to. We're past the Augustine problems. And now what's coming to head is stuff with her best friend, Christy. And she also just had her first appointment with a psychologist. It was an evaluation. So it's just been this really fun part to play around with. And I feel like I'm at the point in the plot where I'm just kind of like throwing all these things at her. So it's kind of like building up to this crescendo of stuff. And that is so much fun and I like how all of the different elements are hitting at different times. So it's like the second she thinks she's gotten over one hurdle, she has an even bigger one that's built on top of it, like that kind of thing. The momentum. So anyways, it's been so much fun to write and I'm so close to 50,000 that I should probably just shut up and keep writing. Under 2,500 words now. <sighs> all right, let's go. So I don't know if it was because I've been so preoccupied with getting words today, which I'm at 48,927, oh my gosh, or what, but I haven't been highlighting texts or sections that I really, really loved until I got to this part where I was like, yes, girl, yes. The scene itself is so short. I think it's like 200 words, but the last little section is the part that I highlighted. And it's after she's talking about how she doesn't like the girl that she's seeing and all of these videos and articles and whatever else. And so the quote that I highlighted goes, I hated her. And the more I read and saw and watched, the harder it was to separate the girl they had created from the girl who really was. So maybe just a little, I hated me too. This poor girl. <laughs> Anyways, so. I love it. Oh, so close, so close, so close. I'm also now officially on chapter 21. Oh my gosh. New chapter, clean slate, let's go. I do also wanna comment about how um, one of the big things that I noticed when I was doing my reread before NaNoWriMo started was that my timeline was just all effed up. And so a big part of today has actually been fixing that timeline, which is always frustrating. It's going okay today. I have up through past Thanksgiving in her world kind of figured out and remapped and fixed for all of the scenes, which include just whole paragraphs needing to be changed for reasons that aren't as fun is when I usually change them, if that makes sense. <sighs> Anyways, so I'm almost past the point, but like I just read the start of what I had in this next chapter and it was like way before Thanksgiving and I'm like, girl, we are past that. We are like a full week past that. It's just, oh, why? Why? You know what though? I do think I'm gonna get some wine before I do this because I need it. Oh, I'm almost done. <laughs> Look what I did, 49,000. It's word time. Okay, so my 48,000th word is trailed and 49,000th is working. Look at how cool that is. <laughs> Aw, man. <laughs> 49,935, but I just finished this chapter. It was actually a shorter chapter because it was only 1,008 words, but ooh, I'm getting to the fun part where like we're swinging back up again. Man, this is really, a whole lot of ups and downs are happening here, but she's actually going to go and stay with Prince Augustine in Martellona for the next certain amount of time she doesn't know yet. And you know, he promises her she won't be photographed. She won't have to talk to her reporters and he won't leave her side unless she tires of him. And then they joke about how that'll happen pretty quickly and all this stuff, so. Oh, I'm so happy. Is it weird? I'm happy for my own characters. Like, oh, good for you. Anyways. <laughs> I only need 65 more words until I win. What? What? <laughs> I did it, 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 I did it. And let the record show that my 50,000th word is took. Like I took my sweet time getting to this point, except that I didn't, I crushed it and 
today, the 27th. I actually did it. I think I'm a little bit in shock. <laughs> I'm going ahead and uploading my document, which I should have done before, just backing it up to Google. <laughs> Completed! Yay! All right, I gotta pull my Scribner up again. I forgot I have to like fully validate this. Ooh, this will be fun. We can see how far off Scribner is. Are we ready? Okay, paste. Validate. Yes! I won! Holy crap! They gave me so many extra words. <gasps> oh my gosh, look, I'm so fancy. Okay, please play. What is a NaNoWriMo winner? Me! I did it, I did it, I did it. Way to go, freaking NaNoWriMo website. You gave me so many extra words. If I had known I would get so many extra words, I would not have written that last chapter. <laughs> I wrote like 100 words in the last chapter because I needed to get more. Mm. Mm. Whatever, I won. I'm just, you know, I'm happy. But also now I have to edit this video. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I feel like the videos have steadily come out later and later each day <laughs> because like it's what time is it right now it is 6 42 p.m so i'm gonna be working on that and then also i might watch like another great british baking show so i'm gonna be up late <laughs> please comment down below let me know how today went for you let me know if you are still on track to meet your goals i oh <laughs> looking at my calendar i would have to write 25,000 more words in three days in order to hit my original goal. I don't know that that's gonna be what happens. I don't know that that's possible, but hooray for this one. I'm just so happy. I gotta take this win. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit delirious, so. It's just so many words written in one day. Oh my gosh. How many words written? 9,979 words written in one day. <laughs> Please also tell me what your beverage of choice is. I'm looking at my wine. <laughs> but I had coffee today, I had tea today, I had chocolate milk today, I had wine today. I just like to drink everything. So yeah, just comment down below. <laughs> Let me know what your preferred drink of choice is. Oh, big water fan too. I should throw that out there. Okay, yeah, I really am getting delirious at this point. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow with a new video. I am going to contemplate stealing the idea from Rowan Fortune. I'll link him down below, but he had planned on continuing doing daily vlogs until his project is done, and I'm debating doing that myself so that I'll go into December. I'll think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye! Yay! I'm at the point in the plart... plart... what? What is this hair doing? It's going Ote. Ote. I cannot talk at all.